Hello, this is Markus Rudolf from WHO Otto Beisam School of Management. I'm a professor of banking and finance, and I would like to uh, provide you with an introduction to the pricing of option in a very simplified form. Um, this is the so-called Cox-Ross-Rubinstein model, which is based on a very simple binomial process. What we are assuming is that we have a stock which has a value today, which has a price today of 100. And at the same time, um, and at the same time, we have a call option on that stock, but we don't know what the price of that call option really is. In addition to that, we can invest or borrow money at the capital market and the interest rate, which is underlying is uh, 5%. And we also assume that the exercise price of our call option is 105. So what we are now doing is we are combining 10 stocks. So in other words, we have 10 stocks and 10 stocks obviously have a value today of 1000. We then assume that the stock price can either go up or down. If it goes up, it goes up to 126. In other words, 10 stocks cost then 1260. And if the stock price goes down, then the price goes down to 84. In other words, 10 of our stocks cost 840. So what we do not know, obviously, is what the value of the call option is on that, on that stock portfolio. But what we do know is what the value of the call option portfolio is when the stock expires. Namely, since the exercise price of 10 call options is 1050, obviously the value of the call portfolio is 210 in the upstate and it is zero in the down state simply because the call options expire worthless in that particular state. Now our problem is that we do know what the call option is at the maturity date, but at the same time, we don't know what the value of the call option is today. Now, in order to assess that, we are now constructing a portfolio which consists of five stocks, which obviously cost 500, and at the same time, we borrow money. Namely, we borrow 400 euros. Now, if you look at that portfolio, then the value of those five stocks go up by 26%. In other words, they go up to 630. Or if the stock portfolio price goes down, then they go down to 420. Now, the value of our loan is independent on the stock price process. It always goes up from 400 to 420 because 5% is the prevailing interest rate. In other words, here we pay back 420, which makes a sum of 210. And here we pay back 420 as well, which makes a sum of zero. Now, if you now compare the 210 in this state to the value of the call option in the same state and the zero in this state to the zero of the call option in the same, in the same state, you figure out that the value of the call option and the value of that portfolio consisting of five stocks and a loan have exactly the same value in both states. Now, according to the law of one price, if two assets have the same value at the maturity date, we can conclude that the value today must also be the same. And that is now an easy task because the value of the portfolio today is 100. The value of the portfolio today is 100. And that allows us to conclude that the value of the call option today is 100 euros.